Greetings people of the interwebs, today we're going to do something different. For those of you who are subscribed to the channel, you'll know that for the last couple of months I've been doing daily polls. Recently I've done a series of polls asking you to give your grade for Star Wars movies. And reading through the comments and seeing some truly well thought out answers, I thought it would be fun to essentially grade the Star Wars movies together in a video using some of your responses. We'll start with the first chronological film, The Phantom Menace. So starting off, Anakin Skywalker says, I love this movie, especially because it shows how kind Anakin was, even whilst being a slave, which is what makes his fall and corruption by Palpatine later all the more tragic. Also, Qui-Gon Jinn is pretty cool. I would give this movie an A. It's a fun movie with a solid plot. I absolutely agree. One of the things that The Phantom Menace did right was set up the tragedy that Anakin's fall would be. We see no hint or indication in Anakin's behavior that suggests he would fall to the dark side later in his life. Only his connection to his mother, which is only really viewed as a negative by the Jedi. Otherwise, he's just a friendly kid who wants to help others, even if it means putting his own life at risk. This film makes it clear that Anakin was not evil or misguided at his core. He started out as a kid, like all of us, and was later jaded by the Jedi and manipulated by Palpatine. Cameron Signorini adds, World building alone earns this film a decent grade. And again, I do agree on this point. One of the Phantom Menace's strong points is the world building. We get introduced to the planet of Naboo and how the government there works, along with their relationship with the Gungans. We learn about the Trade Federation, the Galactic Republic, the Jedi pod racing, slavery on Tatooine, and more. While the story, dialogue, and acting may not be the greatest, I think this is one of the best Star Wars films when it comes to world building. It feels like we're able to just sit back and be totally immersed in Star Wars for two hours. The green screen says, the prequels are littered with greatness, but overall the films are still very cheesy and sloppy. Still prefer them to the sequels though, at least they're honest to the characters and the story. Yes, of the prequels, I do believe that The Phantom Menace is the cheesiest of the three. It tries for crude humor too often by the way of Jar Jar, when it should have implemented more of the snide humor that the original films had, and I think this put a lot of people off initially. As for them being better than sequels, I agree, though that's a video for another day. R520JR, or Junior, gives it a D. For a movie about space wizards and being on the brink of having to fight a giant war, it is incredibly boring. Great lightsaber duel, though. I agree to an extent. While I wouldn't call the film boring, I can certainly understand why some would. The politics surrounding the plot of the movie are fairly dry and not handled all too well, and the pacing of the film slows down quite a bit once the heroes arrive on Tatooine, and it doesn't have that sense of urgency that some of the other Star Wars films have, in large part because of what our next commenter, James Puso, has to say. His comment's very long, so I won't read all of it, but I would encourage you to do so because he does bring up some excellent points. If you want to pause here and read it, you can. He gives The Phantom Menace an F and goes on to say, you never once see these starving, impoverished people that the entire plot of this movie is centered around saving. As a matter of fact, every time we see Naboo, what we see are big fancy castles where beautiful people in elegant robes sit around talking about it, big lush landscapes, and a cool underwater city. And I think James is spot on here. The movie doesn't feel urgent because we are only told that people are suffering. We never actually see them. If we had seen hundreds of Naboo citizens lining up for meager rations of food in the streets, on the verge of starving to death, I do think the story would have felt much more important and desperate than it did. Perhaps Naboo should have looked more like, I don't know, Ryloth did in the Clone Wars, rather than looking like a luxurious getaway vacation spot for the ultra-wealthy. We would have been able to sympathize even more with Padme's plight and her desire to serve her people, and it would have... Ah, here I go, rambling again. Anyway, when I look at The Phantom Menace, I see a film that just didn't hit its full potential. So that said, I'm gonna give it a C. It has high points such as the pod race scene and the duel of the fates, and some low points like the pacing and some of the Jar Jar scenes. It is a deeply flawed, yet an enjoyable film to watch every now and then. So that's it for this time. 
Let me know what you think about the Phantom Menace in the comments section below. Leave a like and subscribe for all things Star Wars. I'm Zach, and I'll see you in the future.